Hey everyone, welcome to Health Psych with Ms. M. So in the introductory video, I mentioned how stress and health is a very important topic in health psychology, and it was actually the focus of my master's thesis. So stress can carry a very negative connotation in society. What's fascinating is that we have to label something as stressful or threatening for a physiological response to occur. So here is the transactional model of stress and coping. And it starts out with a stimulus, any neutral stimulus that we haven't ascribed any judgment to. So it could be like this pen. So for the sake of this model, let's use the example of a deadline. So first is the primary appraisal or that initial evaluation or judgment of this deadline. Either we perceive it as threatening or we don't perceive it as threatening. If we're in the blue zone, there's no stress, ain't no thing, this deadline is not a problem for me. But in the orange zone, we get to secondary appraisal. And this looks at whether or not we can cope with the stressor. Either we feel as though we can cope with it, or we feel like we can't. So again, here in this blue zone, you're gonna get into positive stress or challenge if you feel like you can cope with this deadline. So if you've heard people say, challenge accepted. But in the red zone, you might be perceiving this deadline, your ability to cope with it as a negative stressor or a threat. So for the sake of this example, let's say that yes, you do find deadlines to be a bit threatening, but it's a challenge because you have the rest of the afternoon to work on it. In contrast, maybe you're in the red zone if you have so many other things going on that the deadline just adds to the stress and then that physiological stress response that we're gonna get into in other videos will occur. Another really cool thing about this model is that you don't just go through it once and then it's over and done. You can experience what's called reappraisal. So this just means appraising any aspect of the model again. So you could start at the beginning. You could say, you know, I've dealt with so many deadlines all my life, it's not a problem. I'm in the no stress zone. Or let's say you are in that red zone of threat and a colleague or a friend offers to help you out. Therefore, it becomes a positive stress or challenge or not even a stressful situation at all. So in the next video, we'll get into the differences between positive and negative stress. And if you like this type of content, please stay tuned for more.